You are now rocking with the greatest hustler ever. Thanks for coming back. What up, what up, what up, what up, G fam? It's G back at you another one. Yo, so first and foremost, I want to say my bad for not posting in the last few days. It's been a lot going on with this coronavirus situation. People been in quarantine, uh, being stuck in the house. But um, before I get down to the nitty gritty of this vlog, I got to give you guys some inspiration. So I don't know how much this might hit home for people, but family is the most important thing. Family is important. So I don't know what you got going on, where you got things coming from, but family is essential. And forget what's all going on in your lives or around the world or what you got going on between people. Family is important, you know, so take heed of that. So with that, without further ado, I'm here to give you another review of uh, this series on Netflix because like, I'm in the house binge watching a lot of Netflix, um, but I'm going to give you a review of this uh, Netflix original called Vampires. It's... So first, let me start off by saying, you know, I love the concept of it. Um, it's very eye grasping and, you know, mind blowing to a certain extent. It kind of gives like a family feel, a family vibe to it. And as well as I love how is something sneaky going on in every facet of the movie. Something that mom's not telling, something that, you know, brother's not telling, you know, also, I like the fact that they throw a half-breed in the show. Um, <clears throat> I love the romance and the drama aspect of it. Um, this this season of Netflix Vampire, it was different for me because, first of all, it's set not in the modern day or what I'm used to, the mundane U.S. life. It's set in... Um, in Paris and I like the theatricals of it I like the feel of the movie you know because it's based on you know a young girl you know kind of like her coming to woman aspect of life but then at the same time as her coming to becoming a woman she finds out she is a vampire now you know I'm a, those of you who really know me in real life, not just on YouTube, know I'm a sci-fi junkie. I love sci-fi movies. Um, but this right here, you know, I came across it this morning. I was like, you know, let me check it out. And first episode just grabbed me. It just made me want to dive in and really see more about what it has to offer. Um... I watched tons of vampire movies, you know, from Graham, Stoke, Graham Stoker's Dracula to Underworld to um, Lost Boys, Lost Boys the Tribe um, to Dracula, the untold story, you know, and I could, the list goes on on, you know, vampire movies I've seen. But I like the theatrics of it. I will say on the negative end, I would have liked to have seen like a lot more of their supernatural strength within the movie. Uh, I mean, the uh, season. Um, it didn't really play on the aspect of a supernatural, you know, strength or movements or feel. It just kind of played on, you know, the drinking blood aspect, which I can respect because in all actuality, you know, that's something that grabbed my attention. And... Kind of like it showed the aristocrat vampires versus, you know, the modern day budget billing vampires, like the ones that's on BGE. Like, you know, <laughs> that's kind of funny, but, you know, um, or not necessarily BGE. I ain't trying to make a crack on nobody. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad, you know, about needing help, because if you need help, go get help. 
But I like the modern day aspect of it where it's though it's like an everyday family that's going that's dealing with vampires or dealing with being vampires. Um overall the season was really good. Um I liked all the twists and turns up until the very end. The very end they, you know, had drama, suspense, thrilling, had you on the edge of your seat to the point where you know you like, whoa, I might not want to leave the room. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back to it. You know, it had that grip, that hold, that aspect of a feel to it. So, you know, for those of you who like me, who are out there on quarantine, stuck in the house, can't get to work, Netflix here, you know, binge on this Netflix series, Vampires. It's a pretty decent season. I enjoyed it. I hope you may enjoy it. Um, but like I said, you know, this is just my personal review of the movie. I mean, the season, excuse me, I keep saying movie. I don't know why. They might be getting ready to come out with a movie. I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking things into existence. But I hope you guys like this review and I hope you guys respect this review. I got a couple more reviews coming. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because I got another review coming, but... Um, this just what we doing while we stuck in the house and I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys take a chance, check it out on Netflix, Netflix Vampire Series, set in Paris. Um, I give it four thumbs, four fingers. I mean, four fingers up. So it's definitely a, a check it out movie, not five because I would have liked to see a couple different aspects, but overall it was pretty decent. So, I just got a few things to say to you. I love you. Appreciate y'all out there. I don't know what y'all doing out there with y'all quarantine days or the days you guys stuck in the house, but have fun with it. You know, don't be all, you know, stuck up in your head about what's going on. It's the end of the world. Don't let that happen to you. But um, last thing is uh, that I got to tell you is, we out of here, baby! <laughs> yeah. Peace, y'all. Hey, you guys. Thanks for checking out Get Vlogs. And guess what? We out of here, baby!